I had asked this question on my raw stream and for anybody who's interested in how they can get that content, you definitely have to subscribe to Patreon or you have to catch it live on my Twitch, but chilling aside, I asked a question of whether or not we thought that it was a good decision to keep Hajin Sung alive instead of letting him fly by the wayside in the last station. Because I thought the flags, the death flags were there, and I truly believed that he was going to perish during that arc. And I was surprised that we got the kind of like save Hodgin Sung rescue arc that we have now, which has been really, really solid all 2022. And the reason that I asked this question is because seeing him now kind of fighting against Al and Holland, I was asking myself, what thematic role could he possibly serve moving forward? And I was curious to see what the community at large was thinking about that, whether it was a good or bad decision, or maybe you feel neutral about it in order to let him continue on being a character in the story. The only reason that I say that is because I do have one specific fear, which I'm going to say, but please like the video, subscribe and hit the bell down to the ghost of the 13 one series does not get you and let's hop right in. Hodgson Sung is a really dope character. I do like him a lot, though he's not one of my favorite characters, but kind of getting to see him in the story again did bring a, a smile to my face. I won't even lie to you. But I do worry about him becoming irrelevant and falling to the wayside as just like one of the high rankers in the group that kind of just follow along and do what Bam does. We know he's Bam's mentor, and I'm sure there's a lot of techniques that he can teach Bam. And and having spoken to some of the people on the stream chat when they were watching it live, I started to think about, yeah, it would be really cool for him and Calavan to see each other. I do not think they're going to fight the conflict is over, so to speak, but just to see them kind of see each other. I think Karaka and Hajin Sung meeting, knowing that Karaka came on this rescue mission to also save his quote unquote master, despite telling him, I don't trust you. I only take my mask off for people that I trust. I think their current interaction would be really dope as well. And for Hajin Sung to see how much more powerful his students have become, especially Bam. So having th thought about it longer, I was like, you know what? There's a lot SIU can do with Hajin Sung that I think absolutely works moving forward. But conversely, I thought about it like this too. What if they do all this work, he gets freed here right now in this arc, and for them to escape or something, he has to sacrifice himself. That could be interesting in his own right too. And the implications that it can have on Karaka and Bam moving forward, knowing that, you know, maybe they can't rely on him anymore any longer. Sorry, that was my phone. If you heard that. While I don't think it's necessarily important for Hodgin Sung to be alive for us to get this information, getting a little more insight into the backstory of him, being the grandson of Ha Yurin, knowing exactly who that woman was to him from top to bottom, their relationship, what made him snap and basically wipe out that faction of the Ha family, then maybe when he's on the run and he defects to FUG, like seeing that entire flashback would do a lot for his character and characterization and i would love to see it i don't think he needs to be alive for that to happen though it could be on his deathbed perhaps let's just say he's already not in the story he's perished already he's been defeated destroyed blown away what if we go to like hodgin sung's house or a floor that he was well known on or something like that like or we meet somebody who was really close to him we could still get that information seamlessly through another source or you know, maybe a journal or something like, so I didn't think that him literally being alive has to be the window for us to see him to his backstory, but it would be dope if he kind of tells us himself. Maybe we get a conversation similar to the one he had with Machini about, you know, that rage kind of dissipating, you know, with that back and forth they had when she pulled up on him to tell him that Bam was gonna get attacked by Calvin, basically sending him up for this arc. I think that can all go a long way, but I actually don't have too much to say about it. I was on team kill Hodgin Sung, it would have been much better for this narrative, but I'm at the point where I do see there's a lot of things we can do with him, though I would find it very interesting if we get a, a la Marine Ford situation here. And as a result of that, Hodgin Sung has to sacrifice himself to save everyone or save Bam or Karaka even. And then Bam has to live with the fact that he did all of this 
and failed. So let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer that Hajin Sung is around? Do you think it's better if Hajin Sung was not in the narrative anymore? Or are you kind of neutral on the topic? You don't really care which way or the other. Do you even like Hajin Sung? Let me know in the comment section below and you guys have yourselves a mighty fine day. P -p 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 Patreon! Shout to the certified BAM lover, CBLs, my priest of fire, but especially the fifth Zen gods. Big shout out to Abdel, Brian, Chromizone, Triss, Kyan, Chris, Miles, Revenant, Scobe, Shoddy to Your Body, Simi, and Sonny Kathapali. Your support is greatly appreciated.